first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out today. My name is Jennifer Randall Collins. I am the CEO of JB's Proof Alcohol Ice Cream. We are a small business that is growing rapidly and we are hosting this press conference today. Like many small businesses across our state, our team works relentlessly to expand business and thrive in a challenging economic environment. Making that challenge more difficult is a complex tax code that forces businesses to devote far too much time, resources, and money to compliance issues. It does nothing to foster growth, investment, or competitiveness, all of which are essential factors to spur economic success. We are encouraged by proposals from Congress and the White House that would cut taxes for corporations, small businesses, and individuals. The Tax Foundation has projected that congressional proposals to, to reform tax code could create nearly 24,000 new jobs in South Carolina and increase families' after-tax income by more than $4,000. It's time for our leaders in Washington to take action and pass comprehensive tax reform. We need a simplified tax code that no longer hinders small businesses, but instead encourages the innovative spirit of companies that can create jobs and boost South Carolina's economy. At this time, I would like to introduce our great governor of South Carolina, uh, Governor McMaster. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Jennifer. And she's exactly right. We, we've been fighting for years for a more simplified tax code and, and lower tax rates. And uh, almost without exception, it's been going in the other direction. When Ronald Reagan cut taxes back in the early 80s, it had a tremendous salutary effect on economic growth in this country. It's been proven time and time again, not only here in this country, but in others as well, is when the taxes get too high, the economy suffers, people lose income, families fall apart, and you get in a, a downward spiral. Well, this is particularly important to us right now because South Carolina is on the edge of great, great prosperity. Uh, we're going up with businesses or looking to expand new businesses that could go anywhere in the world or come in here. Our people are ready. We have uh, great systems and, and training and education to support them. But the thing that can stop that are, are two things. One is overregulation and the other is overtaxation. So we're speaking today about taxation. We've addressed regulations. We are going to reduce those unnecessary regulations here in South Carolina. But the federal government needs to do the same thing, and the federal government is the main taxer. Uh, in many different ways, it, it deprives families, deprives businesses, uh, deprives us of the growth that would normally be ours. So this is it's a, a good sign that our leaders in Washington are thinking of reducing the tax load and simplifying our tax uh, code, but uh, there's a lot of work to be done. We want to urge everyone to, to get involved. Now is the time, particularly in South Carolina, when we have such great opportunity uh, before us. Uh, there's no time like the present. Uh, now is the time to do something, so we, we hope that everyone will lend their voice to this, this effort. When our prosperity grows here in South Carolina, when the businesses thrive, both large and small, it eliminates problems across the board, from criminal problems, domestic violence problems, education problems, divorces go down, marriages go up, people's health get better, and that's the way that we need to be going. And the way to do that is to reduce the burden of these taxes, particularly on the federal level. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Before I introduce our next speaker, I'd like to thank some of the folks here today that are supporting our company. Um, I think, as anyone knows, with a small business, it takes a collaborative effort. And the state of South Carolina has been fantastic to our company um, and to my family, and I'm very grateful to be based out of South Carolina. Um, these South Carolinians, uh, some are transplants, some are, are native, have shown dedication to our team and belief in our product. Uh, from the Department of Agriculture in support here today are Comm Commissioner Hugh Weathers and Jack Schuler, who are the, Jack is the Director of Agribusiness. 
uh, from Midlands Tech. We've got support from Tom Ledbetter and Chuck Whipple. And then I've got uh, Otis Rawl of the Greater Lexman Chamber. And finally, Dr. Dirk Brown of the Moore School of Business. Um, in addition, we've got some representatives from GE. We've got Mr. We've got Mr. Weaver from the South Carolina Association of Taxpayers and many others that are present here today. Uh, I apologize if I've missed anyone behind me, um, but I am very much appreciative of your support and efforts today. Uh, now I'd like to introduce the president and CEO of the South Carolina Manufacturers Alliance, Lewis Gossett. Uh, for 14 years, Lewis has guided South Carolina's only statewide organization dedicated to the health of our manufacturing industries. Uh, he also served our state as director of the Department of Labor during the Beasley administration. Please welcome Mr. Lewis Gossett. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. And let me start out by thanking Governor McMaster for joining us on a very important issue that brings attention to uh, a, a, a problem that is more a federal problem than a South Carolina problem. Uh, we are very fortunate that we have leadership in this state that understands that the tax code can be uh, very much an, an inhibitor to business and development in the manufacturing sector. Uh, Jennifer is right. Our, our tax code is not only complex, it's punitive. And we live in a day and age when money has flowed offshore at, disturbing, at a disturbing pace. And there are estimates of multi-trillions of dollars that are sitting offshore waiting to be invested in this country. And that's not going to happen as long as the United States has a fundamentally uh, non-competitive tax code. And that's what we're here to ask today is that uh, our leaders in Washington follow the president's lead and pursue aggressively and enact comprehensive tax reform. <clears throat> when we talk about tax reform, we want them to start at the corporate tax rate. Again, we have one of the highest in the developed world. We have a tax code that does absolutely nothing to encourage business development in this country. And if we can change that dynamic, then as Governor McMaster said, South Carolina sitting on the precipice of even greater growth will only become that much larger. <clears throat> it's not an easy lift. We are certainly going to ask the folks in Washington to do something very difficult, and that is to upset a lot of apple carts and a lot of things about the way people have done business. And there will be those, as Governor McMaster alluded to, that will tell you that it will harm revenue and the ability of government to do business. We believe just the opposite. Bring those trillions of dollars back, encourage manufacturing to invest, and yes, I represent a lot of large companies, but I also represent companies with three, four, and five employees. So bring that money back, allow them to invest it, don't take it away from them and never, ever, ever, as my friend Don Weaver, I'm sure, would tell you, don't ever assume that it's the government's money. It is the private sector's money, and it's a question as to how much the public sector is going to take. So comprehensive tax reform is a major priority for manufacturers in this country. It's a major priority for the SCMA, and we urge our congressional leadership to do something about it. Thank you. As we wrap this up, I would like to thank you guys for coming out. Um, I would also like to thank, obviously, Governor McMaster, thank you for allowing us to host this press conference today. Mr. Gossett, thank you so much for speaking on our behalf. Um, and to everyone who came out today to better understand and support the demand to ease the needless and unfair tax burden on businesses across South Carolina. Uh, let's have a, a, a call to action to our congressional leaders and uh, get these things uh, wrapped up. And uh, I thank you for your time. That's about it. And we're going we're gonna to call it. We're good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.